But here, we're going to start this off with, let's start it off with ABM here from the side of Team Primal. It's looking like he's going to have this M4 in hand here for the side of Team Primal. He's going to find a first blood. He's going to find a second here over towards this P3 hill. He is going to find a second. Does get traded on out as Jake does find that kill. I don't think I've seen anyone here on the side of Possessed before on stream. Maybe Jake, but I don't think that's the Jake I'm thinking of. Logically, 0-0 zero and zero on the map. He's going to be making his way on out here towards the bottom. Yep. Now back on up here, out towards Cabal. Let's see what he can do here, moving it forward. Oh, lo lo logically gonna fall off the map. What the hell am I watching? Here we got Bass posted up in the hill. He's on two in a row for the likes of a Team Primal. I don't know why it switched it on and off, but there we go. Okay, we're gonna switch it on over here to Historic from the side of Possessed, who's actually gonna drop there immediately as we do switch to him. So let's see what Jay can do here, moving forward. Again, I haven't yet to cast this team in possessed before first time seeing them i don't know anyone on this team so if you guys know anyone who is good on the side of possessed let me know here in the chat everyone dropping here as i am speaking we're going to be seeing about an 18 point lead here in effect for the likes of team primal they're going to make their way on up here towards this hill they switch it on over to abm who's four and four here on the map he's going to find one kill they're finding a fifth kill in this Map alone, he's going to push on out here towards mid. He's going to spot a six, not able to finish that kill on off. The hip fire not as strong there on the M4 like it is compared to the MP5. Looking like logically he's going to find one kill there as well from the side of Team Primal. We did see him go on five in a row there, five and two here on the map. We got Fida on three in a row. He's eight and two here on the map. He's going to find another kill there before dropping. Great stuff there from a Fida. So gonna kiss the historic is gonna be playing out here towards top yellow. They're gonna win these rotations out towards P3, most likely, at least I would expect. We do have ABM, the route man himself, over towards new. He's sitting out towards spiral. Let's see what he can do here out on rotation. Looking like historic is gonna find one there. ABM did spot that player out towards Sniper's Nest. I guess he did not, as he is a blind man on the map. He's gonna lay on down here in this house. Whoa, puts down a few shots. Okay, my screen just black screened for a second. I don't know what that was. Hopefully it doesn't pop up on stream. It's looking like ABM able to find one kill there before dropping. He's going to be 5 and 6 here on the map. You know, the stat line we typically see from him. <coughs> but he's 6 and 3 here on the map. Holy shit. <coughs> Logically going to be 6 and 3 here on the map playing in this hill. We're going to be seeing Fido pick up two more kills here before dropping as well. Jake and a flank on around here. Poor Possessed. Let's see what he can find here in the hills. He's going to find one. He's going to be making his way on out here towards the spiral, most likely. I would expect him to at least push that, try to gain some control over there, but it's not looking like he is doing so as he's just laying down in the hill. We're going to be seeing Historic in this hill as well. He's going to be 9 and 8 here on the map. P, P Will, I'm going to call him. I think that's how you say it. He's 7 and 9 here on the map. we got Danny at 4 and 10. These players on the side up possessed. Really need to get something going here. They're finding themselves down by almost 40 points here in this map. Again, Danny at 4 and 10 and Jake at 5 and 9 is not going to help. Moon and P Will not playing that bad overall, honestly. You just really need some help there from Jake and Danny. Again, they're both about double negative here on the map. Oh god, what did I just do, guys? My, my screen keeps black screen and I don't know why. There's got to be something wrong with my Elgato or something. But it's looking like... There it goes again. I'm going to have to pull out my OBS here and just go off of that if it does it again. It's looking like it will. So we are going to be seeing logically making his way on out here towards top yellow. Let's see what he does here moving forward. It's looking like we will be seeing Historic here 11 and 10 on a map for the likes of Possessed. He's playing pretty good all around. He just needs some help from his teammates. We were talking about it in that last hell hell. Majority of, or I was just saying Jake and Danny weren't playing that great. But Moon's 9 and 10. I mean, P. Will hasn't picked up a kill since I gave him credit there at 7 and 9. He really needs to get it going here. He's going to find one there out on rotation. As a John picks up a trade there as well. We are going to be seeing fight at 17 and 8 on the map. I'm going to switch it on over to fight and see what he can do here. See how he opts to break on through. He's going to find one there top sandbag. He's going to rotate on out here towards P2. Try to find a kill here. He finds that kill as well. We're going to be seeing him at 19 and 8. We got ABM at 10 and 12. We got... Logically at 9 and 6 along with the Vasque at whatever the hell he's at right now because my screen black screen so I can't even see what the scoreline is. He's at 9 and 8. John at 15 and 8 as well. These players are playing really good here from the side of Team Primal. John and Fighter going to be those main ARs here on the side of Team Primal with ABM being that third AR here on the map. 
I'm like, ABM I'm gonna be 11 and 13 here on the map. I don't know why my screen keeps cutting on out. It is starting to piss me on off. I'm gonna disconnect my HDMI cord quick and reconnect it here, see if that's part of the problem. I'm not quite sure why it's doing that, but it should be good now. So tonight we will be having fight at 24 and 9 here on the map on another 5 kill streak. We've seen it like 3 or 4 times already here in this map from Fida. They're just absolutely frying here on the map. Just need to see a little bit more here, you know, maybe out of ABM there on the side of Team Primal. Maybe not. They're out to a decent lead, up by about 50 points. We are starting to see Historic pick up a few more kills. Moon trying to catch up to his teammate, trying to help him on out. John picks up now five in a row. He's 20 and 9 here on the map. I'm going to switch it on over to John, see what he can do here with the M4 in hand. He's actually going to drop before I can switch it on over to him. For now, we're going to switch it on over to Fight and see what he can do with this M4 in hand. He's going to drop there as well. So everyone drop in here as I'm trying to podcast over him. They're not allowing me to. Jake's going to be double negative here on the map. 9 and 17. Not having the greatest game. Here is teammate there and Danny at 10 and 17 as well. These guys are combining for what? Like 20 and 34. They're getting... Close to that double neg combined there. They really need to pick up some kills here. Help out Historic. Help out basically just Historic. Moon's not having a great game either. He's at 13 and 18. Been a rough start to this map here for the side of Possessed. I talk about their stats a lot, but let's, you know, focus on the scoreline. They're only down by 50 points, which isn't all that bad for being outslayed by as many points or as many kills as they are, but it's still not going to help them not finding any kills they won't win this map unless they find some kills fight to find in a fifth in a row not able to find that six as p will does pick up that kill let's see if p will can find anything else behind us he's not going to be able to do so as he is going to drop his 12 and 19 here on the map again these players really need to pick up some kills here they are struggling here in this map jake 11 and 17 here on the map he's found two in a row now it's just a little too late for that they're most likely going to give up the majority of the scrap time as well, trying to rotate on out there towards P3. As I say that, Jake's going to flank on a round, finds one, cannot finish that second there in the hill. If he does not stop shooting right away there onto that player, that first player at least, he might find that second, but he does not. Logically 13 and 10 here on the map, he's just going to be flanking on the round, so we're going to switch it back on over to Fido, who's 32 and 14. Having a great game here over double positive. Him and John really thriving here in this map. One, we got ABM at 19 and 20, logically at 14 and 10, and then Bask at 12 and 13. So everyone on the side of Team Primal around neutral or positive. Fighter goes on five in a row yet again. We're going to switch it on over here to logically, who's 14 and 10 here on the map. Game is looking like it could close on out here as most likely should. Only 14 points now needed here for the side of Team Prime will make that now 10 points. Logically runs out of ammo, finds four in a row. We got Fida on seven. That was a combined 12 in a row there from the side of Team Primal. Four more points now. And we see the likes of Possessed get on into this hill here early on. Like Primal's going to try to hit this as well. They send one person out on the rotation just to make sure they close it on out there on the next hill right away. As they are not winning any of these gunfights. And as I say, that player did not actually fully rotate on out. So we should be seeing these three. Team Primal players that are spawning on up just make their way on out here towards P4. They're just going to have to win one gunfight. That's it. And then they should be able to close this on out. Now, as I say that, they lose that first gunfight. There's now reinforcements here from the side of Team Possessed. Or Possessed Esports, whichever you prefer to say. It's looking like Team Primal is going to break on in here. One more second now needed. We saw Danny go on five there late in the game. It's just not going to be enough there as he is going to drop. You will be seeing the likes of Team Primal taking that map one at 252-147. Get this up to date here and on the screen for you guys as well. We're just going to use red for both of these teams here. So just read team names above. Save this and get this on screen for you guys as well moving forward. And there we go. A 250, a 147 win here in map one. Wrong screen there. Holy crap. Hold up. I'm going to move this here quick, guys, so then it's out of the way and I don't screw up again. There we go. GG's, boys. GG's indeed. It's going to be a 1 0 lead here to the likes of Team Primal.
Trim just sent me a message. He said I'm eating queso right now. Chat. In case you guys wanted to know. Let's find that mad funny. And we're going to see Team Primal up 1-0 here, guys. I'm going to update the overlay for you guys just so we have that up and ready to go here for this next map. Closer, guys. We're just gonna wait on an invite here. I'm gonna try to actually join up off of one of these players. Oh, I've added way too many players just from casting. Holy shit! Okay, we're just gonna go after this instrument. It lets me join. Him. There we go. We should be chilling, guys. Again, just bear with us here. I am updating our overlay right now, guys, just so we have that ready to go here for this next match or map. Not match map. Oh, damn it, guys, Let's make up your mind. Think I'm in that lobby now. Right. Yeah, should be. Alright, you guys, we got everything up to date and ready to go. Juice Boys music gives me 2012 vibes. I don't know why. Oh, I, I wouldn't doubt it, honestly. I'm going to have to change that up here, see what I've had it on there for like two weeks. We need something new, some variety, you know. Some variety would be nice. Maybe just try to get like a playlist that just plays along throughout the time. It rotates it. I don't know. I'm just trying to get copyright free music so then I don't have to worry about any of the crap that's been going around on Twitch or, you know, any of that shit. I don't want to worry about that, you know. Love casting. Can't lose it. But I want to change it on up, guys. It gets repetitive, can get annoying. I'm not saying you guys are saying that's annoying, but I know it can get annoying. Trust. I go back and watch like VOD every night on all the matches I clip and put up on my YouTube. I watch all of them. It's it repetitive. Should be good to get underway here with map two, which will be on Piccadilly Four Search and Destroy. Let's get it. Mad Matt Vid, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you, my guy, you fudging goat. Sounded like this map is now gonna get underway. I love to see it. Let's go. Map two about to get underway. What are we going to start it off with here in this map? That's going to be the question in hand. I'm going to get this off screen here as well because I don't know which team is on which side here. Is that the Singularity freaking logo in the background? You guys notice that too? You guys know who Singularity is from COD, but team. my possessed will be here on the left yet again. You're already seeing a 1 0 lead here in the series, so likes of Team Primal, as you guys can tell on screen. 
he will not able to find anything there with the sniper in hand. John able to find a first blood there with his own sniper. We're going to switch down over to John, see if we can find another kill here. He's going to spot one player across. Oh, whiffs his shot, John. That's an easy one, and you missed it, my guy. So I'm going to throw a nade on over. He's probably not going to connect with anything there. It's going to be a 3v3 here in this round. As six Horde picks up two in a row, and then Fida comes back with two of his own. Now going to be a 3v1 here for the likes of Team Primal. Fighter should be able to find this last kill as well as long as he times this perfectly. He's going to jump up top here. The player is right underneath him. Little does he know. Spot him crossed on and out. Lands the shots. Finds the kill. And that's going to be a round win here to the likes of Team Primal. That's 725 followers, guys. Y'all are fudging goats. Alrighty guys, let's get right on into this next round here as we do see a 1-0 lead here to the likes of Team Primal early on in this matchup. And he's going to land a few shots onto that player that is crossing ABM with that AN-94 in hand. He's going to be 1-1 one one here on the map. We're going to switch it on over to him, see what he can do with that in hand. Get a pretty solid, eh, I, w I would say a pretty mediocre map one, honestly, now that I think about it there as he was around even. It's actually an AK-47, not the AN-47, it's the AK-47. 2-1 now here on the map. He's just trolling around a little bit. He finds two kills here in the round with that in hand. He's 2-1 and one here. Let's see what he can do here. We have a third gunfight coming on up here shortly on to Moon. We'll keep it on him. See what he can do here as he's just playing his life here for the time being. Looking like Historic will find one there on the John. So we're going to switch it off of ABM here for the time being as Moon's now going to make his way on out here towards the front of Library. He might have just got the greatest timing there on ABM. Gonna land a few shots there out towards the phone booth. Not able to finish this kill on off. He's gonna be chased on down. ABM with a knife kill right there for his team. He's just gonna play his life now in a 1v1. Here he's gonna fly on out there onto the site. Not gonna be able to find that kill, but he does enough to get that player off the bomb and the clutch on up. That's gonna be a 2 1 lead now here for the side of Team Primal. Let's get on into this next round again. A 2-0 lead here for the likes of Team Primal. They've done a great job here in this series so far, winning that map one, and they're doing a great job here of maintaining the lead here in this map two. 2 0 lead. Let's see what they can do here moving forward. It's gonna like fight is gonna throw a Semtex on over. Not gonna find anything there, but his teammates into John and Vast both find kills. Vast gonna be three and two here on the map. He's gonna start to make his way on out here towards this A site. He's gonna have a gunfight coming on up here shortly, which will be on the P Will. Or pill. I don't even know how to say his name. Pull. I don't know. I don't know. You guys tell me. Bask is going to drop there as he is taken on down. Numbers now to the side of Possessed as P Will and Danny pick up kills along with Moon. All three of them finding kills here in this round. Maybe I'm going to even it on up now as he's in a 2v2 here with John. John still with a sniper in hand. He spots that player there out towards his A site. Just going to back off and play his life here for the time being. John now going to make his way on out here into bottom foot. Going to get an angle onto the site. Might be able to find one player here on the moon. They do pick up that bomb. It's looking like they're going to flood on up here. Swords to John. John going to drop. ABM trades it on out. Now going to be a 1v1 here in this round. Can ABM clutch on up and find this kill onto P. Will. To spot the player cross. He's going to play it patiently. Puts down a few shots. Throws the Semtex. Hits that player with the Semtex. He's going to push on out towards middle. Buses here. Spot the player cannot get the kill as he gets smoked there. That's gonna be the first round win now on the board here for the likes of Possessed Esports. Insane Brev. Get right on into this next round here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it. Getting a 2 1 lead here to the likes of Team Primal. Let's see how they opt to play this moving forward. We're going to switch it on over here to John, see what he can do with the sniper in hand. He's going to wrap on back here out towards Arcade. Who's sniping on the side of Possessed? 
Anyone have a sniper out in hand? Let's find on out. I don't think anyone does here for the time being. Again, it's a 2-1 lead here for the likes of Team Primal. Moon picking up a first blood here for Possess. Showing some life here in this map too. Historic picks up a second kill behind that as well. On to John. Now going to be a 5v3 here in this round. Little does Danny know there's a player right there next to him fighting now left in a 1v4. This would be a 1v5 if a fighter can manage to clutch on up. He's going to find two kills here. It's doable. These players are kind of split. We're going to switch. Oh, no, we're going to keep it on Moon here. He's going to get timing here on the fighter. He's going to give away his positioning. No. Fighter, not a player to back down from a gunfight. If he picks up a kill here, he's going to find a second. He finds that first. He's just playing his life here for the time being. I would expect a pinch to come on in soon. He's going to spot that player out towards phone booth, if I'm not mistaken. No. Oh, are you still alive? Oh, are you still alive? You hear the player behind you. What is going on? I thought he spotted him twice there. Again, I have X-Ray. He's going to drop there as that's now going to be a round win yet again on the board for the likes of Possess as they find two in a row. What an interesting round there. I, I think Fighter could have clutched on up there in that 1v5, honestly. He just had what... I, if he just saw what I could see, like, I, I can't even think of what to say. If he saw what I could see, it should have been an easy clutch there. Again, tough situation to be in. Stork picking up a first blood there. It's now going to be a 5v4 here in this round. And as I say that, John picks up a trade with that sniper in hand. We got Fighter 6 and 3 here on the map playing out towards this... Bone and Booth, it's looking like logically going to find one. Bass finds one as well. Now going to be a 4v2 here in this round. This is looking like it could be another team primal round win. It's now getting a little bit more interesting as Moon picks up that kill. He's 4-3 and three here on the map. I'm going to switch it off a of fighter here, see what Moon can do here. He's 4-3 and three yet again. Let's see if he can clutch on up here with Danny and take their first lead here in this map too. Probably the first lead overall here in this series. I don't think they had one there in that last map. Danny gonna drop there. Figures I switch off a of fighter. He finds one kill there. He's gonna spot the second player as well. Not able to finish this kill off just yet. Moon with some nice shots there to back down fighter. But they're just trying to pre fire at one spot there. He's not gonna find a kill. John trying to wall bang there. That player is just stuck in a bad place there. He's going to drop, and that's gonna be a 3 2 lead now to the likes of Team Primal. Alrighty guys, we're getting on into this next round here again. Team Primal up 3-2. Bass going to throw a Semtex on over. Oh, a little bit of a leg there. John finding another kill here in this game. He's now 4-3 and three here on the map. Fight of finding one as well. Fight of 8-3 and three here for the likes of Team Primal. John going to be sitting here top scaff. Let's see what he can do here moving forward. It's going to make that bounce over. Now he gets a hit marker there onto that player. It's up. Shoot. Man, it's a few more shots. How's that player in the dead? John still finds the kill there in the end, but I don't know how that player didn't die sooner. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't. Nice shots here with the pistol from John to find that kill and give his team a 4-2 lead here now in map 2. Alrighty, we'll start this off with Historic here from Possessed. He's 6-6 six six here on the map. Looks like he's going to throw a smoke on out. He's going to try to make a play here out towards the bottom floor. He's actually going to be playing the staircase here, waiting for these players on the side up. Oh, and Primal to push on through. ABM finding two there with the MP5 in hand. He's now 9-5 here on the map. He's going to be traded on out. He did find two. He did deal enough damage here. There should be another Team Primal round win as Danny is now last alive here for the likes of possessed he's gonna drop there and that will be the round win now a 5-2 lead here in this map for team primal should be able to close it on out here and force this 2-0 lead that's what i'm expecting
Alrighty, did I just see an MP7 out? It's gonna be a logic with the MP7 in hand. This players on the side of Team Primal just having some fun here on the map. It's looking like logically gonna push on out. Let's see what he can do here moving forward. Not able to spot anyone early on. We're gonna switch this on over here to John, who actually did pick up a snipe. I couldn't get there fast enough as he's finally gonna drop. He actually had an MP5 out in hand. I was mistaken. It's gonna be a 3-2 lead here now for the likes of Team Primal here in this round. Keep it on fight here. Now going to be a 2v2 as it looks like Jake picked up one. This bomb is down in their favor. Let's see what they decide to do here moving forward. Fighter going to get tagged on up. Oh, he's just trying to get away with his life. ABM picking up one kill there. Jake now left in a 1v2. He's going to drop and that's going to be a round win here to the likes of Team Primal. Duo lead for them here in the series as well as they win this map 2-6-2. Two, two. We're going to get this graphic up to date and on the screen for you guys as well. If I had to take a guess, I'm thinking we see a 3-0 here in this series. Especially with the way map 1 went. Sheesh. Wasn't that bad, I guess, but I st I'm still expecting that. Alright, so we're giving this up to date here, guys. We're gonna put this on up here now. All right, here we go, guys. We're gonna switch it on over. We're gonna update everything else before we get on into map three here. Again, a 2 0 lead here to the likes of Team Primal. Close that is unfortunate. So we got everything up to date as well, guys. Bro, that one guy almost got turned on. ABM 1515. 15. Oh my god. I miss hearing the chat. I'm nasty. Maybe I'm talking a hell of smack. I'm just nasty, bro. What sense are you on? Spam the car in 1515. Oh my god. Maybe <laughs> I'm nasty, my guy. Didn't you know that? Still not carrying his team to that victory, though, like he was saying he was earlier.
I fucking hate those damn things, Matt. I hate that. I think one night I asked John literally to ban six of them that were in my chat. I literally had to give them mod, and he still got mod because you know he's a goat. John's a goat. I gave him the mod to clear them on out. Yeah, he played all right. You know that I'm, I'm talking just in general. That map one, eh, Fida and John were carrying him, carrying them then. Like he ended up what like 20 and 20 or something like that map 2 okay that's that's fine 6 and or 12 and 6 guess he's just an SND star now or something like that I mean, at one point, you know, ABM also had an AK out, so I don't know. This map, they're going to be St. Petra? Okay. Okay. I swear there's a cat just in here. Holy crap, what did I just hear? Oh, now I'm tweaking, guys. I just heard something, and I don't know where it came from. Oh, my God. Y'all made John upset in the first map gas and ABM. John. <laughs> yeah, he did. He led the team there, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. All right, guys, we're going to switch it on over here and then get this new overlay on the screen for you guys. Again, if you guys like the overlay, let me know here in the chat. ABM is a beast. I wouldn't go that far. He's all right. I mean, he, he's decent. <laughs> Alright, we're going to start this off with P-Will here. We're actually going to switch it off of him as he is capping this A flag. Team Primal with the preferable side here. If you guys are unaware, on St. Petrograd, the C flag is going to be that preferable flag. Holding a BC setup here on this map is a lot easier than an AB setup. But teams have been able to hold down an AB setup if we see the likes of... Either one of these teams get out onto this A and C flag and then push out here towards Water Street. They can get a good spawn trap going there out towards P1. We saw it with Abyss a few weeks ago where they literally had a team stuck there for a good two and a half minutes and they couldn't get out. We saw like three players go on 10 in a row or some shit. It was freaking crazy. Logically going to drop there as it's looking like Historic starts off 5-0 and here from the side of Possessed. Where was this energy in map? One Possessed. Oh my god. And as I say that, you lose your full home flag and the C flag. Starting to lose that B flag as well. And just like I talked about early on in this map, guys, get control of both home flags and then get control of B. You're spawning them all the way out there towards P1. Log or Historic will drop there as Vast does come on through their P1. He's going to find one. ABM finds one as well. Vast finding, or not Vast, John finding two there. Great stuff here from the likes of Team Primal. We got ABM on four in a row. He's going to be playing out towards Water Street. Let's see if we can find a fifth here for the likes of Team Primal. Gonna be playing here and Arch as he backs on out, helps his teammates out. They're chilling now. They had to trip cap off for a little bit. They're up by 20 points. ABM gonna snap onto a player. Nice hip fire shots onto that player, shooting his body too, and letting him know that he is the best in the lobby. Now gonna five in a row here from ABM. He's gonna fly on out here towards this A flag. He's gonna try to get this neutral on off. I believe he spotted one player there, if I'm not mistaken. Spots that player again, just backs on up. He's trying to go for this secure. Oh my god, he snapped onto that player! Holy shit! Finds that kill. He's now helped his team build up this lead even further. They have control of B and C. Team Basque here on two in a row. He's just sitting here top restaurant, not doing a whole lot of anything. Logically pushed on up. He's going to drop there as Danny picks up his second kill in a row now here for the side of Possessed. Historic, you know, having another great map. Just needs help from his teammates here. They are struggling yet again here in a respawn. We see Fida pick up three kills there. Finds a fourth that should be kill cam there. Fida going absolutely off. He's going to find a six now in a row. Nine and three here on the map. Could he find a seventh underneath him? Don't think he's going to spot this player just yet. The player did opt to push on out there towards mid tracks. He's got one there top pool, but he's opting not to challenge anything here as he's got the MP5 in hand. He should spot this player here in a second. Plus that player gets the kill, I believe, to fall damage, if I'm not mistaken. Wait, and now going to be playing his life here in a corner outside of blue. He's being a nuisance here on the map, finding seven in a row here for the likes of Team Primal. We just got to keep it on him here as he's still streaking. He's going to spot that player back out towards Water Street. He's going to back on up and just play his life here. 
I'm going to switch it now on over here to Historic. Was able to find one there out onto Logically. It's looking like Vask and ABM pick up kills there as well. John finding that knife kill. ABM finding another kill there. Vask finding another of his own. John on three in a row. We're seeing, what, 12 in a row right now from three players here on the side of Team Primal. We're going to decap this A flag. Looking like Vask will drop. John will drop. Fighter finds now an ace. Make that nine in a row before dropping there. Fighter absolutely going off here in this map. We're seeing logically at nine and seven. He's going to start to make his way on out here towards mid tracks. MP7 in hand. Going to turn on around. Shoot at his teammates. They know they won this map already as they have a commanding lead here in this first half. Fighter going to be making his way on out here towards top restaurant. Going to try to find a few more kills here out towards blue. Oh my god, your sensitivity is bugging me, bro. Holy. Gonna hear a player to his left. He's gonna chow on out, most likely. Finds the kill. He's got another one to his right. He pre fired it. He spotted the player. Backs on up. Just plays his life. Gets that kill. Top restaurant. This dude is unkillable here on the map. 14 and 4 here for the likes of Team Primal. Gonna find again a third in a row. He's gonna spot a fourth on that B flag. He's gonna find a fifth here as well, most likely. His teammate there in ABM actually took that kill. Wait, we're trolling this early on? ABM with the sniper out in hand already here, and we're only. What? Four minutes and 30 seconds into this map. But it's still on four in a row. He's finally going to drop there. He's 16 and five here on the map. Historic, the only one doing much of anything on the side of Possess as it's 14 and 10. He just needs some help here from his teammates. This is looking like it's going to be a hot 3-0 here as Possess can't get anything going. Boone's going to find one here out onto this C flag. Finds a second there as well. It's about time they're picking up some kills, but I think it's already too late for them to get themselves back on into it. Got themselves in a hole here early on. I don't see them climbing on out of it just yet. Or in general, I should be saying, like, sheesh. Going into the second round here at the 1 at 10 at 43 lead here for the likes of. Team Primal. Let's get on into it here as we're going to start this off with the man on a mission himself, Fida, at 16 and 6. He's just going to be pushing on out here towards the top of restaurant. He's going to try to find this kill here out onto the B flags. Finds one, finds the second. I don't know how he finished that kill on up. A great start here from Fida and John as they find a combined three kills. Fida gonna drop there after finding those two kills right out the rip. T will gonna be making his way on out here towards mid tracks. He's now gonna fly on out towards this B flag. They're gonna find that kill. Neither team able to gain control of this B flag just yet. They are now seeing possessed finding some kills here. So they're showing some forms of life. Still finding themselves down by 66 points. And they get themselves back on into it. It's looking like Jake starting off on four in a row here in this round. He's got a sniper in hand. Oh my god, snaking to the max. Holy shite. Danny's 6 and 14 here on the map. He's double negative, struggling quite a bit here in this map. He's going to be throwing a stun on over. Not able to connect with anything on that. We're going to switch it off him, see what Moon can do as he's on three in a row. He's pushed on up towards this team primal spawn. He's going to drop there as fast, finds a kill. Is Team Primal even trying to get out of their spawn right now? I don't even think they're trying. Logically going to drop to his own at nade there. Fighter going to start to make his way on out here towards Water Street. He's 20 and 9 here on the map. They're starting to make their way on up towards the restaurant, I do believe. Fighter going to drop there as Danny finds that kill. Possessed still finding themselves down by 56 points. I think even with the double cap, I don't... Eh, they might. They might. I don't know. It's going to be close. That's going to find a kill there with the nade. Finds a second as well. So him and his teammate are going to start to make their way on out here towards restaurant. Hopefully find some kills here and get out onto this B flag as they have yet to do it since the start of this round. Logically, you have the bison in hand now. He's found two in a row here with the bison. He's 12 and 12 here on the map. Let's see what he can do with this bison in hand if it lets me switch it on over to him. Not, he is dead though. I want to get, I want to see him off spawn here. I want to see if he's still going to use this bison here. I want to see how it is. Again, I thought it would be the gun that would take over the MP5 once that buff, or not the buff, the nerf came in. Oh, let me switch players here. You'll love to see that. The stork trying to land some shots there. Unable to do that successfully. He's now 17 and 14 here on the map. We got ABM 14 and 18 here as well. 
He's not playing too bad here in this map, and I believe he's had a sniper out for the majority of this map, if I'm not mistaken. Team Primal still at the lead in their favor. Two minutes now left here in this round. Moon finds one there on C flag. We'll be seeing Bass pick up a sniper kill there on the Moon. Fight a final one. John fighting one. Everyone on the side of Team Primal, I think, is running a gun that is not metal right now. They are just trolling. They are just enjoying their time here on stream. Logically going to pick up two TKs there with his own knife. He's 13 and 15 here on the map with the bison in hand. See what he can do with this moving forward into the mid map. I believe he spotted that player child on out, plays his life. Let's see if he can find a kill here. I, guys, I think this bison's nasty. Mask on five in a row with the sniper. What is he doing on the map, my guy? In a minute, if you guys are unaware, trip cap 36 points. Something we'll probably have to see here from Possess if they want to win this map. Logically finds two now with that Bison. He's going to spot a third, spots a fourth there, finds a third. Can he find this fourth? Unable to do so as he's going to drop. John finds that trade. Fighting and get out onto this A flag. They are just spawn trapping them over towards P1. This game is most likely over here. John now picking up that Bison. Here he's got that in hand. He found one with it. He's going to be traded on out. Logically again with this Bison in hand. Ooh, the hip fire not as good, but this gun, it's got a gunny. It's got a gunny. You guys have to admit that. Turns around. Oh my god, yeah, it really does have a gunny, guys. Holy shit, this is a gun you guys should be running. I'm just gonna find a few shots through the wall. They're not able to finish that kill on off. Game is mathematically impossible, guys. It will be a 3 0 here for the likes of Team Primal. They just enjoyed themselves here in the second round. They had a great series overall. They made it look easy, logically picking up a few more TKs there onto Vasquez and onto John. Knowing that this game is over, we didn't see Fight to pick up all that many kills here in this round. He's gonna end on five in a row, but I think before that he maybe picked up three or four, maybe. But even with him not having a solid second half, they win this map. They got up by a lot there early on, and yeah, they they've done enough to close it on out. They don't have to worry about anything. As these last 10 seconds tick away, we should be seeing this game close on out. GG's here to Team Primal. Maybe better performance next time out of Possessed. Who knows? Be a 176-138 win there for the likes of Team Primal. GG's to them.